We start with the guild mushrooms, a group distinguished by their thin, sheet-like structures underneath the cap. As we explore these common fungi, notice the unique features that aid in their identification. The color and attachment of the gills to the stem, the presence of serrations along the edges, spacing between the gills, their brittleness, and the hue of the spores they release are all critical characteristics to observe. While gilled mushrooms are prevalent, it's important to understand that accurately identifying them can even require microscopic examination or genetic sequencing. Focusing on a unique subset of gilled mushrooms, let's examine the ink caps. These mushrooms may initially challenge observers with their subtle gills, but their defining characteristic is unmistakable. As ink caps mature, their caps undergo a remarkable transformation, dissolving into a black ink-like substance. Among this group, the shaggy mane stands out not only for its distinctive appearance, but also for its culinary value, being the most renowned edible ink cap. This fascinating process of deliquescence is a key identification marker for these mushrooms, the category from chanterelles and other veined mushrooms are distinct for unique features on the underside of their cap and stem. The undersides of their cap have rounded, blunt ridges that may interconnect or extend down the stem. Differentiating between true gills and veins of a chanterelle can take practice. Puffballs start as spongy balls, which later turn into a mass of dust-like spores as they mature. They vary in size, with some growing larger than a basketball. Many species are edible when the interior is still tender and white. Polypores stand out as some of the most accessible mushrooms year-round, thriving for years due to their woody growth, often on dead wood. True to their name, they feature hundreds of tiny pores beneath their caps. Noteworthy examples include reishi, turkey tail, and chicken of the woods. These species are not just easy to spot, but also play significant roles in their ecosystems and have various uses, including even as a canvas for artwork. The morel group, with its limited number of genera, simplifies basic categorization compared to other mushroom families. Prominent among these are the true morels of the Marcella genus, alongside Verpa, Gyrometra, and Helvella. Caution is advised when consuming these mushrooms. Even uncooked morels have led to fatalities, with incidents reported as recently as 2023. This highlights the importance of thorough knowledge and preparation in safely enjoying these fungi. Jelly fungi are intriguing to find and relatively straightforward to categorize, though many might pass them over given their limited use in cooking. Characterized by their rubbery or jelly-like texture, some even for globular masses and are creatively named witch's butter. These mushrooms are some of the first to appear in the spring and after the first rains following a dry period. Cup fungi, recognized by their rounded cups or flattened discs, may resemble jelly fungi, but are often more closely related to the morel group. When observing cup fungi, a careful approach may reveal a fascinating detail. A small cloud of spores can be ejected if the mushroom is disturbed. These eyelash cups are known for their fine hairs around the perimeter of the cup. Coral mushrooms are easily recognized by their vivid colors and unique shapes, making them a joy to find. However, identifying them to a species level can be challenging, requiring attention to subtle details, though some species are more easily distinguishable. These clubs are quite conspicuous, however most are tiny and overlooked. Boletes are recognized by the spongy pores on the underside of their caps. 
This group includes the popular king bolete, also known as porcini or sep. It also includes the slippery jacks and the deadly red board bolete. Our last group is the toothed fungi, which includes the choice edible hedgehog, a toothed jelly known as the cat's tongue, and the wildly popular lion's mane and its west coast cousin, the bear's head. Categorizing these mushrooms can be quite easy due to the unique spines on the underside of the caps, or with heresium, a full ball of soft spines. 